More people are taking their used beverage containers to vending machines for recycling. A company behind a pilot program in Singapore says collections from its vending machines have doubled in the past year, thanks to increased public awareness. This, coupled with a proposed scheme by the government to encourage recycling, has also drawn interest from global recycling companies. Chloe Chu has more. This is just one of around 800 beverage containers that this machine at Yuha Food Centre receives on any given day. And the company behind this pilot program says the two-fold increase over the past year is largely thanks to increasing public awareness about the importance of going green. We're actually collecting twice the uh, capacity of the reverse vending machine, so we had to actually send the trucks twice a day to clear the materials. The company says it's also about location. The take-up rate and the success depends largely on the environment where the machine is located, especially when we look at uh, the machines that we have in the Yuhua Hawker Centre or near the Pioneer Mall. Uh, there the take-up rate is a lot more, so uh, higher footfall also leads to higher recycling volumes compared to the ones that we have installed perhaps in a school or like a science centre. As an added incentive, users can also accumulate reward points when they deposit containers for recycling. So after all the grinding, washing and drying, the plastic bottles collected can be broken down into various forms. So you have your food grade plastics that can be used to make food and beverage containers once again, or you can have fabric grade pellets that can be used to make clothing. This ensures that all the plastic is reused as much as possible and none of it is wasted. The company has five such machines, known as reverse vending machines, deployed across the western part of Singapore. It's a small number for now, but it holds huge promise for Singapore's beverage container return scheme, which is already drawing interest from other international players. Norway's Tomra, which has some 80,000 recycling vending machines around the world, is adding Singapore to its list of sites in the next few months. We take that experience that we have from all the markets that we operate in and we share that with you know, all the stakeholders, with the government to help them design uh, how a scheme should be. So we've been engaging in Singapore since 2020. We are now ramping up and have an office here uh, and we'll continue with that development. Tomra hopes other Asian countries will follow Singapore's lead and recycle more. I think it will be an important uh, signal market for the rest of Asia and hopefully that will also inspire rest of Asia to look into this. Beverage containers represent in many countries a lost opportunity by being incinerated today.